Welcome back for day two of the Easter Up Party. Obviously, you guys are pro because you joined me yesterday and created the most beautiful art. I'm going to share um, some of those projects that you posted. But if you are jumping on to create art today, can you tell me your name? I'd love to know in the comments, what is your name and are you back for day two? Can you let me know? Um, if you haven't joined before, my name is Georgie. I am the art teacher that loves creating art online with you guys. And I'm super excited. I'm coming here to you from Melbourne. We also have Louis from Melbourne, who is back for day two. Awesome work, Louis. Hey there, Mabel. I'm so glad you could join as well for day two. Mila and Michaela are here, and I loved your artwork from yesterday. You guys, Isabella is from the Bluey Mountains, and Isabella put Bluey Mountains in her artwork yesterday. Hey there, Sailor. Awesome. You could join again. Hey, Fern and Ren. Fern and Ren. I feel like I've created with you before. I can... Um, I can see that Kate, Ethan, and Liam are joining from WA. I can't wait to share your amazing art from yesterday, guys. Hi, Lola is back for day two. So is Amelia and Charlotte. I think you guys are down from Tassie. Do you think it's so great that we can create, even though we're all around Australia? Hi, Sienna and Kobe. Hi, Alyssa and Lucas for day two. You know, it's really fun that I can see lots of names, familiar names pop up. It makes me feel great that you guys are starting your Easter holidays with so much art to feel proud and confident with. Hi, Luke and Ryan and Thea. It's your first day today. You guys are going to create such a fun artwork by the end. Hi, Gemma and Lucy. Ellie is here from Melbourne. And Ivy is jumping on. I remember your artwork from yesterday, Ivy, with heaps of fun, expressive brush strokes. Hey there, Isabel. And Isaac, oh my goodness, Isaac is joining from Fiji. Isaac is in my art club and you have the best setting to do art, I bet, um, over there in Fiji. Hi, Andre and Archie. I just saw your um, artwork in my email. I can't wait to take a look. And Sophia and Stella are from Sydney. So, guys, <laughs> did you have a good Easter? And I wonder some little Easter eggs, if they're lying around your house still, we're going to use them for inspiration to go ahead and put in our artwork today. But I want you to think about some other ideas of how we can decorate this Easter egg car. Hi, Hannah and Ava, um, Ava and Sage and Ivy. Thanks for coming over again to create. So in a minute, what I'm going to do is go through our art supplies. But I also wanted to share with you the super incredible artworks you guys created from yesterday. It's so great that Manisha and Kashav are over and jumping on. Benji and Ellie are here too. And we have Lottie is over here from Melbourne. So I'm just going to jump in and I'm going to share some little artist i call it an artist spotlight because i want to celebrate what you guys did yesterday okay so today is our project it's the easter egg car hi zoya we have the art supplies there on the screen but i'm going to go through them one by one if you have any questions don't worry i am going to share with you and show you what i've got let me just show <laughs> amazing artworks. I'm going to make myself small and these kids big. Can you see these incredible carrot cars with bunnies from yesterday? You know what stands out from um, for me on this page is everybody chose a different sky and a different kind of field of flowers. I see night skies, sunsets, red skies, blue skies, rainbow fields. It is beautiful to see so much. Um, unique individuality on the screen. Well done. And now I just wanted to kind of spotlight Scarlet and Violet. Can you see a rainbow egg um, carrot car? How incredible is that? And I can see a black and white spotted bunny. 
I put that there because I didn't see any other black and white spotted bunnies. So well done, you guys. And we have Rebecca, Olivia, and Joshua who all created next to each other. But they all created a different artwork with different colored bunnies and different fields and backgrounds. So I just wanted to spotlight you guys for coming up with something so different. Hi, Kyra. It's so great. And hey there, Leah is joining. So I wonder, <clears throat> let's see. If you created yesterday, what was your favorite part of the project and what did you learn? Because we went through some really big skills with watercolor, with using a technique called watercolor resist. We did wet on wet and you guys have done that so incredibly well on this screen right now. I love celebrating and sharing. Can you see yourself? Because if you can, we are going to add to your project today with another one. Now, I asked you guys yesterday, who is creating next to you? And I had a little clip from Ruby, Oscar and James. This is the perfect scene for um, creating next to each other with the monitor there. You're spreading out on the kitchen table. This is exactly what happens inside my art club. You create at your kitchen table. And can you see a little puppy on the screen? This is hilarious. We had Beatrice the Bulldog join the art lesson. So I love that little photo from the little artist. Hi, William and Alexandra. It's so great that you can. And Sophie saying she loved the whole process as well. I am so glad. Emily is joining. Is anyone sitting with their mum today? Is anyone sitting next to their parent and creating? Because Maggie and her mum had such a fun time. And you guys did a great little collection of bunnies and so did Catherine and her mom. So if you want your parent to come over and create with you, just holler to them now and show them that other little artists are doing this as well. It's such a nice way to spend your morning. Okay, one last shout out before we go through our art supplies. Here is Kate and Liam and Ethan. So they are joining us now. I know you are there, you are in WA. And I wanted to spotlight Liam and Ethan because if you look closely in their little artwork, they have a rocket carrot mobile. They have space themes in your artwork. I think there's like a little astronaut um, round glass thing around um, Ethan's. I can see space, night sky. And I asked them, um, how did they come up with that? They said that they visited a space center they learned all about space at this excursion they went on and they included it in their project. And that just goes to show how incredible art is at connecting your experiences and kind of making sense of the world. And you guys are so incredibly imaginative and I just wanted to shout that out and um, congratulate you guys who are traveling around Australia and spending time creating art. Okay. Let's go ahead. One thing to show you. Yesterday, I showed you a little artist from the art club called Raven, who's turned her art into gift cards and prints. She's selling them at markets. Hi, Nia and Jonah. That is something you could do too. If you are really super proud of your artwork, let's turn them into something incredible. Don't hide them away. And one thing I wanted to show you was this book. So this is a book that is printed at a place called Jimmy Halfpenny. They are online in Sydney. And I sent them all of my art projects. So these are lessons from inside the art club. And can you see how cool they look printed in this incredible book? So if you have a big collection after today, maybe you've got a collection lying around the house of models, of photos, of notes, you can send them over there and you can print them in this. It is such a cool little gift and it keeps your artwork nice and safe. So the art club, you get a discount to that too. Okay, I am ready. I am ready to go through the art supplies. Can you give me a thumbs up? I wanna start creating art with you today. So for our Easter egg car, we are going to do some drawing outlines and I'm going to be doing them in a black marker. So if you have a black marker, um, it can be a Sharpie or anything else, I want you to hold that up to me. I can kind of feel 
if you guys are ready. I've got my black marker. I have my um, paper, and it's a big A3 piece. It's in the tall position. Does anybody know what the tall position is called when we put our paper like that? You can tell me in the comments, the tall position. Okay, I've got colored markers, my favorite, a whole packet. I've got heaps. <laughs> I've got colored crayons. So you're going to use whatever coloring tools that you love and that you have at home. I love my um, Crayola crayons. And somebody mentioned already, it's called the portrait position. You are correct. We are doing an artwork in the portrait position. Yesterday, we did the wide landscape position. You guys are telling me in the comments what it is. That is so clever. Okay, last thing I've got, pencils. So, markers, crayons, pencils, whatever you have. I'm going to start with my black marker. Can you hold that up to me to show me that you're ready? And we're going to go ahead and create this amazing bunny car. Okay. So, <clears throat> we're going to start at the bottom. I want you to grab your hand. I use this to measure often. I use my hand. I'm going to get you to go right to the bottom middle. Get your hand. And I'm going to put, get you to put it just here. So your hand might be smaller, so you might need to, like, wiggle your fingers out a little bit. I've got four fingers, and I'm going to put a dot just above. All right, so that's where this is going to go, this little bumper bar. I've got my dot. So here I go. From one side, I'm going to draw a line. It's going to be wobbly because I'm not good at straight lines. I'm going to go through that dot along almost to the other side but not touching and back 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 and around okay it's wobbly it's not straight we're not doing straight lines in our art class today can we add two tires to our easter egg car one is over here and it looks like this i'm going to come down like a u shape around and back so i just did like a really big u one tire at one end, okay, one tire at another end. We're kind of doing an old school car. And so we're going to draw a little bump over here. And so it looks like a upside down U or a rainbow. Let's go up, around, and back. So I've got one little headlight section and I'm actually going to put a circle in there for my headlight. And you know what? Today we are doing things that are symmetrical. So I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. So I'm going to come up, around and down like an upside down U and a circle. So as we are drawing, I'm going to ask a few questions. I want to know, does anybody know what is symmetrical? What does that mean? Can somebody tell me what is symmetrical? Because we are doing that in our lesson today. Are you ready to measure with your hand? Can you grab it? I want you to put it just your thumb on this line. They spread. Your fingers are spread out a little bit and put a dot just where your little finger is okay if you've got a little hand like a few little artists if you're here oscar and i think ethan you're gonna have to spread your hand out a little bit more okay i'm going to start a line that's going to come up from here up 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 around through my dots across and down i like doing it with my finger okay here we go i'm going to go up around i'm going to go across through my dot across 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 and down so i did the top of my car now lots of you just answered and you this is telling me you're so clever i said what is symmetrical and you've told me it's the same on each side it's the same on both sides it's the same it's the same that is exactly right so what happens on this side of our picture is the same as what happens on this side so we're trying to make our car look the same on both sides, and that means symmetrical. Okay, let's kind of add um, this fun little grill. So this might be where the um, grill plate or the exhaust is. So if you want to, 
I'm just going to do like a curved cornered rectangle here. It just fills this space up and you can color it in. Um, and I'm also going to put some little uh, vertical rectangles in there. So my um, car is just one color. But this is your moment to put polka dots or stars or stripes. So we can definitely add some little patterns on our car. And so I'm just going to go ahead and do something really simple. We're not going to be too complicated. But if you know me and if you know my wall, <laughs> you'll be able to see these polka dots on my wall. And so my car is going to have polka dots. If you want to, you could add something different. And I would love to know in the comments what you want to add to your car. But I want you to keep it really simple because remember, we're going to color these in. So if we do little details super small, they're really tricky to color. But if you are ready, go ahead and add a few little details. So I've got some big polka dots and that's all I need really. I think that's going to look incredible to color in. Okay, we have stars that are going on. We have love hearts. It's really fun when you share what you're doing because it, it kind of inspires lots of other little artists to um, share their ideas. We've got stripes. One of them has a smile. See, I would never have thought to add that. So that's exactly why I love you guys sharing. Okay, once we have the patterns, let's add these, um, what are these called again? The mirrors, the side mirrors. Can we do that? We've got square patterns for somebody. So over on each side, we can do a circle right at the side and then two little lines joining. So I've got a side mirror. And I've got a another side mirror here with a big circle and two long lines. Okay, these are going to look incredible because someone's doing flowers, rainbow stripes, lightning and stars, <gasps> sprinkles, spots and hearts from Olivia. Okay, now this is making me excited to see these. Some Yes, somebody said these looks like lollipops. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish off this car up here. And I need you guys to grab your hand. And this time, I want you to put it super close together. Really close. I'm going to put it on top of my car just here where my little finger is. I'm going to put a little dot or a line. Okay. Now, let's do the top of the car. I'm going to start at one side. And it looks like this. Are you ready? I'm going to come up. I'm going to turn the corner and go through that little line I did. I'm going to come around and back. <clears throat> All right. Now, did you realize no rulers have been used today? We're just using our hand to space it out. That is a really fun trick in art. And if you want to, can we add the window because we're going to get to the good bit with our little bunnies. So it looks like this. I'm just going to put a window and I'm going to make it quite big. So I'm drawing a line on the inside of that car and then I'm just going to come up and around and back. So now I have a window for my bunnies. I'm wondering if how many bunnies you're going to fit. Maggie is a little artist I know who loves adding heaps of little creatures. So I'm wondering how many bunnies are you going to put in here, Ma uh, Maggie? I want to do two. Can you give me a thumbs up if you are ready for these um, little bunnies? I don't want to start till we are ready for these bunnies in our car. And we can um, draw them with ears that kind of poke out the top. So this little car doesn't have a top to it because our bunny ears are so long. Are you guys ready? Because I'm about to show you how to do these little bunnies. So we've got some thumbs up in the comment, which is telling me that you're ready. So let's go ahead. I'm going to do this little bunny first over here. 
Okay, so this little bunny is holding the steering wheel. So what I'm going to do is like a little curve line just there. And that's the steering wheel. Okay. Now he has a head. So I'm going to draw from the curve line. I'm going to draw a circle on top. And this is the bunny's head. And I did a really wonky. By a... <laughs> and then two eyes. So let's go eyes. So mine are big black dot eyes. Can we put a nose, mouth, and whiskers? Okay. So a little nose on my bunny, which looks like an upside down triangle. He is certainly smiling because this bunny car is full of yummy eggs. And then whiskers. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. This little bunny is not a bunny until it has ears on it. Are you guys ready to put some ears? I am going to start from the head. I'm going to go up, jump over the car, up, down, and back to the head. One little ear. Okay. And over here, I'm going to go up, up around and back okay now do you think you could go ahead and do bunny number two bunny number two is not holding the steering wheel so this is actually can i just add little pause if you want to add little pause to your um steering wheel so they're just like one little bump here and one little bump here so he's holding on so what i'm going to do is just zoom this in for you really quickly. Can you see that little bunny? Okay. You got it? Are you ready for bunny two? Because I am ready. I am going to go ahead and draw bunny two's head. So I've got a circle for the head. And it's got one little curve line for the body and the body because he's sitting down. Can we draw a face? And someone said they're going to do floppy ears. Incredible idea. Okay, I'm going to draw a little eye and an eye. I've got my nose and definitely um, the big whiskers make it definitely look like a bunny. You could add a crown or a hat or flowers. I think if you want to. I'm just going to add like a spiky crown to this little bunny. Maybe it's on the way to a party. And then two bunny ears. So someone said floppy. Mine are going to poke out the top. But if you want to do a different design, you go ahead. So it's going to go up, around, and back. And this one is going to go up, around, and back. So we have a car and we have two bunnies. Now we're going to go and fill it up as if these little bunnies are driving to a party with so many treats and the yummy things. And I want you to give me a thumbs up if you are ready to go ahead with these outlines. We are doing a lot of drawing today and a lot of coloring. And this is going to look so great when we can add our markers and our crayons. The first thing that I think I'm going to add are some carrots and I'm going to also add some Easter eggs. But I'm going to add some few little different things and you can too. Okay. So if you are in if you want to add a carrot, then let's go ahead and do that here. I'm going to put it this way. This is where my carrot's going to go. So I'm going to start at the car. I'm going to come up around and back. So my carrot's pointing out there. And then we know from yesterday, from our carrot mobile, we have wobbly leaves. And so these wobbly leaves are going to go right up to the corner. I'm going to go wobbly, 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 point and back. Wobbly, 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 point and back. So I can, if I want to, put a few kind of lines on my carrot. <clears throat> a few down there that just give the idea that it's a little bit round. 
okay, we've got a carrot. And you know what? If you're not ready to go over the next step, um, you can just have a listen and watch what we're doing because after our outlines, I'm going to pause for a little bit and you guys will have time to finish off all your details. So don't worry. We're going to pause real soon. But I want to see if you can add an Easter egg somewhere in your car. So I think over here is where I'm going to put an Easter egg. And I'm just going to put a round curved line just like this on my Easter egg. And if you want to add a pattern, you could. Um, this one might have some curved lines on it. Um, hmm. What about triangles? So I can color these. Maybe yours has polka dots. Maybe yours has stripes. Okay, one carrot, one Easter egg. I think maybe another Easter egg before I try something crazy. And I'm wondering, are you going to add something crazy to your Easter egg car? I'm going to put another egg just here. So I'm tucking it in. I'm going to come up, around, and down. And so this is where if you are up to Easter eggs, you can put some patterns on them. So this one's got some polka dots again because I love polka dots. But I'm wondering if there's something else. Can you write in the comments something else that you might want to put on your Easter egg car? Because something that we have had to eat um, over this long weekend has been just in a whole lot of sweet treats, actually. And I was thinking of putting like a cupcake. And so maybe some fruit because we've had fruit to eat over this long weekend. So you know what? This is up to you to decide what you want to put up here. But look at this. If you want to add a cupcake, that's what I am going to do. Somebody else is adding a present. Oh, that's great. Zigzags on Easter eggs are happening. Someone's adding a bitten piece of chocolate and a rainbow, a lollipop. How great are your guys? Smarties. Okay, so I'm going to add a cupcake. So I'm just going to do a curve line that comes down to the car. And I'm going to add a little cupcake top with icing. So I'm going to go bump, bump to a point, And then I'm going to come back for a little cupcake. And maybe this has a few straight lines. But you gave me lots of good ideas. <gasps> so someone said lollipop. And someone said ice cream. Okay, can I do an ice cream as well? So let's see, my ice cream is gonna be in a cone. So I'm gonna draw a triangular cone pointing out here. And then I'm gonna do a huge curved ice cream scoop. Um, let's see, some topping dripping down with a cherry on top. Thanks for that suggestion of ice cream. Strawberries. Someone's doing a chocolate duck and a donut. Amazing. Okay. I was going to do a watermelon because it was kind of healthy, but now you guys have got so many yummy treats. I want to change my mind. So I'm going to add the watermelon because I like the colors of um, green and um, pink. So I'm just going to do that here and I'm going to draw my line out and back. Here is my watermelon. My kids love watermelon actually, so I guess that's why I had this idea. And I'm just going to put some seeds on it. Okay, but you guys had some other ideas. Somebody said a rainbow and someone said an icy pole. I'm thinking a rainbow, so here I go. I've got my rainbow arch and that fills up that space really well. Thanks for that idea. And I'm just going to draw some more arches for all the different colors when I color it in. So you know what? I hope you're having fun just coming up with options um, to put in your Easter egg car. You can see that nothing is right or wrong. Someone's adding an Oreo. Someone's adding a cross, which is beautiful. Maybe a hot cross bun. Nobody has said... Um, Another little animal that we have at Easter, and that's like a chicken. Have you said seen little chickens on Easter egg cards? 
So maybe we could add a chicken. Um, let's see. I'm going to try that. It's going to be a circle for the chicken's head and like a little bumpy crest. Bump, bump, bump. I'm going to add a little triangle nose and an eye. I'm going to color it in black. And then I can't really fit much, so it's going to come down and down to one side, but I probably could fit his little feet in. Somebody has done chocolate mint ice cream, Miller, yum, and fairy floss, and there's a bilby. Oh, a great idea of this little bilby. Okay, my little chicken has some little feet. So some little fork feet with a U-shape and a bump, bump, bump for the toes. Okay. <laughs> you know what, everybody? I am going to let you guys finish off, um, or actually we're going to color in the car and then we're going to pause because the coloring can take a little while. So can you give me a thumbs up if you are ready to color in some of this car? <clears throat> and I'm going to show you an idea that I love when I'm coloring. And I'm kind of deciding. This is the hardest part of deciding what color to do your car. It is seriously tricky because I love all of them. So um, I am going to do a blue outline of my car. And if you are ready, we are going to start just this section and then we're going to pause. So choose your favorite color. And let's see. I am going to do a mix of crayons and markers. And so I'm going to, I've got my blue right now. And I am going to use these markers for small sections, okay? Not big sections. These are for small sections. So I think this little section here of the headlight is a small section. So that's where I'm going to use my colored marker. But I'm not going to color marker all of that. I'm going to do that with crayons or pencils. So this is... um. What we are using our markers for are kind of like highlights, okay? Now, someone said oil pastels. You can. You definitely can um, use oil pastels. Oil pastels are tricky for tiny sections, but I would say for bigger sections, oil pastels work well too. Okay, so here we go. Now, we all take different rates of coloring. Some people color... Um, really slow and they enjoy the process of coloring and they love taking their time and some people are really quick so what I want you to remember is when you're coloring you want to kind of color in the same direction and not go like this this is what I call a crazy arm <laughs> we don't want we want not too much crazy okay because then we can get a really nice coverage of our markers. Okay, so I've done a little section. And I want to just give a shout out to Alex because she did heart for her car eye. So these little, um, um, what are they called? Headlights are actually hearts. Cool, Alex. Okay, here we go. I'm outlining. So you can do this too. I'm outlining. And I'm then going to color the rest in with a crayon or a pencil. That is where I put this marker away and I grab my crayons or my pencils, which actually end up quicker. So tell me, guys, what kind of colors are you using for your car today? Because I'm going to do a blue car, but I'm going to put some different colored polka dots on top. And did you know with your crayons, you can tear off the paper if you need a little bit more crayon. And I want you to go ahead, start coloring it in. We're going to go ahead and color this car. And then I'm going to pause and show you a few more things. Okay, now someone did some really cool carrot details just here. So this is why I'm really excited to see everyone's different project because you guys are going to come up with something totally different so we have blue purple and pink from miller okay i like that color scheme maybe i could do purple and pink polka dots 
or maybe I might even do some yellow so they kind of stand out. What kind of color are you guys doing? Violet's doing purple. And Ivy's already done blue and purple. Well done, you guys. Okay, I'm see, can you see how quick I'm going with this crayon? It's actually really easy to go quick with a crayon. And I really love that. Okay, so let's see. Blue for me. And I love yellow and blue together. So I'm going to grab my yellow. Okay, and we have Kairi's doing rainbow. Amazing rainbow. I love when we do these classes of all the rainbow um, color schemes that come out. Okay, yellow polka dots are what's happening on this car. We have pink happening from one little artist. So these are going to be so fun to see and kind of sit next to your carrot mobile artwork from yesterday. We've got purple and pink, pink and rainbow. Is there anybody who's doing red? I know there's a little artist called Oscar and his favourite colour is red. Is that what colour your car is today? We've got turquoise and blue, purple and green. Do you reckon we could ever see a blue and yellow polka dot car ever driving down the road? If that did, I would probably give it a toot because I think that looks that would be really fun. Okay, let's see. Orange, maybe headlights as well. And Oscar, someone else loves red. So maybe there's a section of red that could go on your car. So I'm wondering when you added all of these little details up here, what gave you the inspiration for all of those details? Was it all of the sweet treats that you love to eat? Was it the Easter kind of things that you've seen over the long weekend? Because when we create art, often we find inspiration from our previous experiences. And that's why all of our art's really different because we always move through the world differently. We see different things that we like. We have different experiences. And that's why all of this is going to be super crazy and totally unique to you. Okay. Hmm. What what should I do here? <gasps> I need some ideas. Maybe, maybe I should do a dark blue. Okay, let's see. We have heaps of purple coming in on the comments. I'm going to do this kind of brighter brighter blue that might stand out it doesn't stand out and you know what that means I'm going to switch have you ever done that where you color and then you you kind of think oh that's not the right choice so I'm going to switch you are allowed to make switches you are the artist and you're in control of your project so if ever you don't like it you just switch okay blue over here so at this point guys when we are coloring in our car, something starts to happen. We've done a lot of coloring. And I'm going to do this bit. I think gray for me. I kind of get a sore arm or sore hand. Is anyone feeling a little tired in their hand? Because that's a lot of coloring that we've done. If that's you, can you give it a shake? Can you stop right now and kind of shake it out? Because what's happening is you're using all of these muscles in your hand and you are using them very, very repetitively. Yeah, someone's saying, yeah, they're getting a sore hand. And so we are building up our muscles as we are coloring, but muscles get tired. So you can just shake it out and have a little break. It's totally normal to get a really tired hand when you're doing this much coloring okay but that's why we got to practice and that's why art is so great for little artists especially your age to build up all of those muscles can i tell you something can i tell you something that i found out recently surgeons in the big hospitals have really really controlled fine motor skills and strong hand strength and do you know there is a very, very high percentage of surgeons that all do art? Did you know that? I read a statistic. It's like 
75% of surgeons all do art. Isn't that incredible? And one of the reasons they're so great at art and they're so great at surgery is because they are building up all of their hand muscles with their colouring and with all of their skills that they have to um, do and their procedures in a surgery. So that is something fun that I thought I would share with you. Okay, how are we looking? How are your um, incredible Easter egg cars looking so far? And I need someone to suggest what I should do up here. What do you think? What kind of color should happen up there? And I think that whatever I do, I'm going to go back to outlining with my with my marker. So that's something that I often will do. I'll do an outline with my marker, just like this. And then I will color with my crayon or I will color with my um, sh pencils. Okay, so someone said yellow and I'm going to go with yellow. I think that's a great choice because I have yellow polka dots. All right, now, you know what? I remember I said, uh, Wana, when we've done the car, I'm going to pause and I'm going to show you some things. So if you are still coloring sections of the car and you're not up to um, where I am, this is the moment where I'm going to pause and I'm going to let you guys go ahead and finish off your coloring of your car. Um, I never expected to do so many colors on my car. So I'm so glad that you guys suggested rainbows and yellows and oranges and all of those suggestions. Because otherwise I might have just done one color with no polka dots. So <laughs> you guys keep coloring your car because I have a little um, question, little quiz. Okay, now yesterday I shared something with you. And today, I want you guys to answer this again. Can you see a little tail on the screen? Can you see that? Whose tail is it? Can you tell me in the comments, whose tail do you think that that belongs to? I would really love to know. It is a very cool creature. And it belongs to somebody said a seahorse. Oh, that is an amazing idea. Someone, a, a lizard, a chameleon. Have you guys got any ideas of whose tail that might belong to? <clears throat> I love everything that's being mentioned. Heaps of seahorses. Ivy said a chameleon, a gecko. There's quite a few chameleons coming through and lots of seahorses. What do you think? Because it is coming up in a project in the art club and I am going to share with you what it is. Most people have said a chameleon or a seahorse. Someone said a bilby. Might be a bilby to a dress up party. Lots of seahorses. Okay, you ready for me to tell you? If you guessed chameleon, you are correct. Here it is. Here's my little chameleon creature. And I created him with my black Sharpie marker, just like you're using today, and watercolor paints. Now, this little cool creature is coming to the art club with a whole lot of other jungle animals. Who else do you think might be coming to the art club? What little creatures could we be creating that are from the jungle? Can you suggest one? I want to know if we are on the right track with our jungle creatures because he, all of these little um, artworks from the jungle are going to join this chameleon and we are going to be creating them. It's called Jungles in July. After we do space, after we do Under the Sea, we're going to be doing jungles. Okay, we have a leopard. Oh, my gosh. We have a sloth. Benji says a lion, gorilla. What other little jungle creatures might we be creating with this chameleon? A parrot, a tiger, a snake. Someone said a dingo. 
Lots of birds. Okay, like so you've already you've already nailed it. Some of you have guessed. Are you ready to see? <laughs> Here are the other jungle creatures that are coming to the art club. We have a toucan, we have a jungle leopard, and someone said a sloth. I'm gonna show you that. But these little um jungle creatures that we are going to do in watercolor paints are going to be added to an amazing collage. Now, these jungle collages, we're not just going to draw and paint like we have in the art party. We're going to do printmaking, stamps. We are going to be using acrylic paint, really fun water techniques. We're going to do collage. So sometimes in your art classes at school, you might just get to draw and paint. But I want to show you heaps of different art um, techniques. Here is a little canvas of a toucan that we're going to paint. So our little um, chameleon is going to have heaps of jungle friends. And you guys suggested heaps of other jungle creatures. Now, when I mentioned about where we can find our inspiration from our other experiences, we can also find inspiration from other artists. And we don't do jungles without telling you all about this French painter. He's called Henry Rousseau. Can you say Henry Rousseau to the person next to you? He is from France and he did the most incredible jungle paintings. And you might be able to see a monkey in one of his paintings right now. So that is what we always um, take a look at when we create our art is other famous artists. Okay, so if you love that jungle idea, if you loved the space and the under the sea that I showed you yesterday, they are all coming to the art club and I mentioned Maggie and Oscar, who are creating with us today, they have already tested out an incredible toucan project. And we also have other little artists. We have Devin over here. We have Kiana and Sophia who have done other amazing toucan. Um, we've got a sloth and other jungle projects too. So if you love jungles, there are heaps of jungle artworks and art lessons in the art club. Okay, I'm going to share more about that later, but I want to go back to coloring. Are you guys ready to color in these bunnies? So one thing about bunnies is that sometimes they're white, so I'm going to leave mine white. But I'm just going to color in his little steering wheel and my bunny's little crown before I finish off the coloring at the top. So this section of the art class we are just going to go ahead and put heaps of fun, bright colors all at the top. And so I want to know, what are you coloring right now? What is it that you're coloring right now? And I don't think um, they're very big sections up there. So I'm going to try my markers for some of these. And I want to know, have you got a rainbow? Are you going to color a rainbow like me? Or what little section are you going to be coloring up on top of your Easter egg car? Because these are going to be the part of the project where everything comes, everyone comes up with something totally different and totally unique to you. So we have someone coloring in the bunny. Fantastic. Someone's coloring in the carrot, cupcakes and the chicken. You guys might even be super speedy and finish even before me. So that's another thing to remember, that we all create art and finish art at different times. And it's one of the great things about creating art at home is that you don't have to rush. You don't have to finish before the school bell. You can take breaks if you want to. And that's what I love about creating art at home. Okay, here is my rainbow. I'm so glad someone suggested a rainbow because that looks great on my artwork just here. Okay, Sailor is doing her ice cream. I'm going to go ahead and do my ice cream as well. And, oh, this is fun. Some Catherine said she's coloring in her chicken who is also eating a carrot. How amazing. I can't wait to see that, Catherine. Now, my little waffle cone has some crisscross. I got some crisscross up there, and I'm actually not going to color it in. I'm just going to do 
that little crisscross pattern, but I think I might add some chocolate topping. So I have quite a few little details. Ice creams, watermelons, cupcakes, chickens, rainbows, carrots and Easter eggs. Someone else is colouring in their cross. Did you think when you started your project today you would add so many incredible things? Mila's chick is in an egg hatching. How cool. You know, I would never have thought of adding that either. That's why it's so great creating art with friends and getting heaps of ideas. So when we um, create together, we get to celebrate everybody's different interpretations of the lesson. I know that when you guys post a photo, none of them are going to look the same and that's the best part. It's kind of nice when we all come up with something different and we are so proud of everything and everything that you do. That's why I love seeing all of your artworks. I'm colouring in this watermelon yellow and I hope that you guys are trying a different combination of crayons and markers and colouring pencils and you're putting them all together. It's like a big mix match of all of these different art supplies. Okay, we have a cupcake coloured in over there from Sailor. So I'm wondering, is this the point where you need to shake your hand out? Probably is because we have done heaps. And I've got a suggestion. If you are at the point where you want to shake out your hand and it's kind of getting sore, I just want you to outline your um, black details. You don't have to colour them in. That is one way that you can add details to your artwork and colour. You definitely don't have to colour them in. I'm just going to put some lines on my cupcake. But I'm going to not colour that in and that's kind of like a quick way to add colour without making your hand too sore. So I think for me, this little carrot needs some color and I'm going to use my marker just over here. And so when we create in the art club, what happens is every month we have a theme. Do you guys remember next month what the theme is? It is space. So next month, we are doing a whole lot of projects every week and we are doing them on the theme of space. So we're doing astronauts and rockets and a really beautiful collage. And then some of you saw yesterday, after that, we're doing Under the Sea with mermaids. I did um, a treasure chest is coming as well. We're doing sea turtles and coral reef. And then in the art club after that, we're doing jungles. So I love keeping them all based on a theme, kind of like we're doing for Easter with our Easter themed artwork. So someone's um, colouring their flowers. Someone's colouring their eggs. I'm just going to leave these little details like that outlined in green, but this little chick definitely needs to be coloured in yellow. So I want to do that too. I'm going to colour him in yellow and then I have something else to show you before we finish up for our project today. So can you tell me which one has been your favourite? Isabel said she loves mermaids and she is excited for the Under the Sea projects. I am a big mermaid fan. They are my absolute favourite. Everything Under the Sea is so beautiful. But tell me, what's your favourite? Do you guys like the Easter egg car or the carrot, um, carrot mobile from yesterday? What has been your favourite? Because some of you might like painting more than drawing because today was drawing and yesterday, no, yeah, today was drawing and yesterday was painting. So you guys might have a preference of which one you like. And I wanted to show you a little bit of each one so you can kind of decide. Is painting your favourite or maybe drawing? 
Some of you say both, so I reckon that you guys loved both of these projects. Do you guys have a favourite? Okay, Sailor loves both of them. Lots of people said today they loved, so you guys are big fans of drawing. I think when I was a little artist like you, I loved drawing, and I loved drawing with black and white. I kind of drew heaps of details, but everything was black and white. So that was my favourite. I really love everything now. Okay, lots of people. Oliver says he loves to draw. Then we have drawing, drawing and painting. Painting is quicker. Drawing takes a little bit more control and time. I have nearly finished my Easter egg car. I've got one more little Easter egg after this one. And I have had such a fun time creating art on both days. Let's see. We have someone loves painting. Remy loves drawing. Kyra loved yesterday's bunny egg car. Oh, no, bunny carrot car. I can't wait to see these. So when you guys are finished, you guys might be kind of coming up to finishing. Remember, <laughs> take a photo, put it in the comments because I always reply and I always love sharing all of your beautiful artwork. Benji and Ellie said yesterday they loved painting. I loved that one as well. Okay, last little Easter egg from me. So what have you done? on your Easter egg cup. Can you just take a look and call out all the things? You don't have to write it down. But when you call it out, it kind of surprises you how much you actually were able to fit up here. And that is a lot. You guys have drawn and colored in an incredible amount of little details on your Easter egg car. Did any and, and everybody added something different, which is so awesome. Okay, last little bit for me. Guys, I am nearly finished. You have been creating for a full hour already. Congratulations for getting to the end of the Easter art party. I just love jumping online and creating art with you. My Easter egg car is done. I'm going to just show you. You don't have to, but if you wanted to, you could put like a little blue background. I'm just going to show you like this, a little blue background behind your little bunnies. That's optional. So I just wanted to put it there so you can kind of see what it might look like. Just like that in the background. So he's like got the window behind his little um, bunny head and I love it this was one of my favorite Easter projects he is off to a party with all these sweet treats that is incredible Miller says she's finished so I have one little thing to share with you before I say goodbye from the Easter art party and one of the questions is do you guys love sweet treats? Can you see what's on the screen? I'm giving you another little sneak peek into a project that I thought you guys would love. It is little cupcakes. We're making little teacups and we're painting them to go ahead and take to a party or a tea party. So our tea party um, projects have animals dressed up in characters we have um, canvas cupcakes. We are making little cupcakes. And um, it's just going to be so fun for all of those people who love adding little pom-poms, making puffy paint, doing lots of collages and glitter. This was one of my favorite um, little collections of projects. So here are some little artists from the Easter Bunny project yesterday. I would love to share your art as well, and I would love to see it and um, comment back to you. So if you have enjoyed today, take a photo. Remember to post it in the comments. Ivy and Violet have said they're finished. I can't wait to see the incredible art that you have done. And if you um, want to, go check out the art club because I only open it for a short time. It's only open 
for a week or so and then it's closed. And if that's not your thing, then if you could leave a Facebook review, if you've enjoyed today, that really is awesome and it really helps me. I've just enjoyed the last hour so much. I can't wait to do it again with you one day. I might see you in the art club. But I wanted to say thank you so much for joining. Happy Easter. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful school holidays wherever you are in Australia. It's so nice to see that Scarlett, um, Ivy and Violet, you had a great time. Scarlett, you're finished. Thank you so much for joining. I'm going to say bye. I hope I see you in the art club. Otherwise, a review is awesome. And I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. See you later. Bye, Sailor. Bye, Maggie. Bye, Oscar. Bye, Kiana. Bye, Sophia. <laughs> Someone says, I love your art club. Bye. Thank you. I want to I wanna stay and say goodbye to everybody. Well done, Zoya. I'm so glad you loved it. See you, Nia. Bye, bye, Manisha. Uh, Manisha. I can't wait to see your projects. You know when you post them. I remember from the last art party, and I love seeing all of the progress. Thank you. Bye, guys.